So in this episode, we are going to actually sync the category tags with the post. That means if I delete any post, we want that category and the tags related to that particular post has to be deleted also, the relationship only. Okay, so with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see first, I have deleted every relate relationship we have created in the last episode, but I have these posts and obviously the tags and the categories. So let's just give the relationship first. So you can see if I select these two, submit it and on the post underscore category we have this relation and here for the category also the post underscore tag I'm again repeating the category as tag okay so so first error in this thing is that you can see we don't have any timestamp here so let's first fix this also so whenever I go to that app slash model we have created and inside model we have this tag no we have this post model so with this I want to say whenever I am saving the tags I want to save the timestamp also so I will say with time stamp and parenthesis go back and let's try one more time and Yes, it is here. Save this and it says timestamp. Yeah, it's it's timestamps. Okay, refresh and yes, it's okay. Let's refresh here and yes, now we have timestamps here. So same thing for category also. So whenever we are creating category, that will be okay. So this is fixed, but this is having problem. So whenever I click, we know that we have given the tag here, but it's not reflected here. So what we are going to do, firstly, whenever I edit something, you can see we are getting every post. So we are getting post, but we have to get post along with the tags. So what I can say, I have to say here with arrow and inside with I want to say tags so let's just return this this post and go refresh and you can see it's giving the post but giving tags also so similarly we want categories also go refresh and yes we are having categories also so let's undo this return and now whenever I go to edit, I want to say here, we are looping tags for every tag. But if we found, we have to once again loop for each for post arrow tags, which is as a post tag. And now if we found if we found post tag arrow id is equal to tag arrow id then echo out selected okay so this is a simple thing and if only okay so we are looping for tag so it loop for tag and one let's say first time it's come it come for first time and then it will loop for every tag for the post and if the post tag id is equal to original tag id then it will echo out selected so go here refresh and yes we have these two selected do same thing for category but let's just see yeah we have these two in the category yeah we have these two but we have to loop these things for our category also so I will say here instead of category instead of tag I will say categories and here comes category 
only okay go back refresh and because we don't have any category so let's just select this submit it add it again and okay it's not getting back things if it is oh yeah that's why okay we have to say category here okay go back refresh and yes we have this and if I say master to submit and yes we have everything here but as the this episode was for syncing that means if I delete this we have to delete everything related to that post so what I'm going to do firstly we have to make changes in our database migration we have created so migration we have migration for yeah this one here now we don't need any incremental value because it's just a relationship so we don't need that but along with this we have to say table arrow primary primary key is post underscore id which is reference reference on which table posts table okay reference to id and now on which table on table of posts and on delete i have to say cascade okay so this is the thing we have to do and one thing it's references and it's not primary we have to so say foreign key foreign key okay so foreign key is here so okay so with that we have to give these thing as unsigned and also as index so both of these has to be unsigned and indexed now go and refresh this migration it says already exist so what i will do delete everything from here and now try to run and yes it's successful that means now our table is connected so let's do same thing for category uh, category we have done tag so for tag here it is and we don't want this one this one has to be unsigned one and now this has to be here and post id id post i think everything is good okay go rerun again refresh and everything is fine but as we are having these things not null but we want everything to be null i think on the last to last episode we have seen that okay so go back and open post migration so we have this one and now we have to say this to be nullable okay so let's try this and no error that means that's good so copy this from here and we need to from status so status and paste it refresh migration and that's okay and you can see we, everything is having null and we have corrected our migration as I told you in the first episode whenever when I creating the migration we need to update this so this is the time we need to update okay so now we don't have any kind of post here so let's go refresh and no post because we have refreshed let's try to create one okay and tags oh we don't have even tags yeah let's create the tag so uh, master one more master one master one similarly categories uh, category sarthak sarthak one more which says bit fumes bit fumes and post new post this is first title and now comes this one 
this one dummy text submit and this is okay but let's see on the post underscore tag yeah you can see now this arrow which represent it's now connected to post so here it is and whenever I delete this uh, firstly I will show you this okay you can see these are selected so whenever I delete this go back refresh category underscore post is empty this is also empty and this is also empty everything is now deleted okay so one thing is that whenever we are creating new post we are having this error because we want some kind of WYSIWYG text editor but whenever when we are creating the data table part for that then we have disabled uh, which one then we have disabled this dashboard and because of that now we don't have any editor so for that what I will do I will go to here and editors and we will use this CK editor so to get this CK editor we have to go to our raw files pages forms editor because it's pages forms editor and this editor and so we have to go to the bottom so let's go to the bottom and here you will see this CK editor script so copy this one from here go to our footer and paste it here and now we want to have this script also so this script has to be here also again so this script and paste this and we have to connect this so we have to give our text area as ID so we have not given any ID ID of editor one okay so it's editor one and now we don't need this one oh this one for uh, select so that's good okay so now go back here refresh and yes it's now converted to ck editor so why is that two one place some text here let's see it's having two okay remove this placeholder from here remove this class also go back refresh and yes we have only one okay so we have to do same thing for our edit so copy and editor is here this one paste it and we are done so I think we have given these on the footer but maybe we can use this for only the edit and the post page so we don't need to have everywhere so close this close this even close this one so here we can give so paste it for edit and paste it for post so refresh and yes this is for new and if we are oh, we don't have anything so let's give this is new ajax that's good sarthak that's nice submit and whenever i edit yes our editor is here so we have fixed many bugs in our system but that's very nice to have these kind of things we will move forward in the next episode and we will see what we have to do so till then if you have any problem please feel free to comment me don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your developer friends goodbye